I'm Laia Mogas, I'm an architect, studied at the UPC here in Barcelona, and now transitioned into the Mediated Matter Group at MIT, and lately the Tufts Silk Lab at Tufts University. I specialize in looking at pharmaceutical and medical materials, mostly biomaterials and devices, and see how we can export them into product design and architecture. We've been working lately with shrimp-based plastics or silk-derived uh, mixes and solutions that we, that we use into, for example, compostable packaging or small architectural panels, as well as edible jewelry or, um, or toys that have a smell. And think about this as biomaterials, so something that dissolves in the, envi in the environment, non-toxic, based in water, and easily 3D printable, molding and castable, very, very benign materials to work with. These are materials that come from nature and are very easily functionizable. What I mean by that is we can mix them, we can dope them, we can transform them very easily, and that's something that fabrication loves. We can actually tune them to fabrication capabilities. So we can 3D print them um, as pastes by adding plasticizers, or we can cast them as liquids and have very, very strong films. So we use different 3D printing techniques. Mostly what we presented today was two and a half D printing. So using the water-based capacity of the material as a as a good thing instead of a disadvantage. Yeah, paste extrusion without the need of high energy, just in room temperature, in water, and with very mild chemicals. We used, we used long chain polymers, polysaccharides, proteins, enzymes, any, any, any biomaterial truly, from wood, shell, bone, silk, shrimp, <laughs> to antibiotics, enzymes, bacteria. Oh, it, it helps amazingly because we, we are more in the what's next in 10 years than what's next tomorrow. So we are always looking at what's everybody doing because we are all working in parallel from pharmaceuticals, biomaterials, architecture, design, uh, biohackers, makerspaces, everybody is pushing this forward and to see everyone in the same space from nano to macro is really, really interesting.